Hello everybody, this is today's 11th of November and I'm really excited today because I have understood one of the core components of React. Literally, I've understood components in React. Alright, let's get started. Number one, learn React. Right. So I've learned about, I've learned more about JSX, JavaScript, XML. And I learned about what is component in React. Now that is that is the part which you know which makes me so excited because because I've really known like what is component. I was you know I was thinking like it's 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 just a term given to something and you just call it right. But actually now I know like how to imagine whenever someone say components in React. So components are nothing but they're like JavaScript functions. They accept some arbitrary inputs and those inputs are available in props which all components have and and the component and the component does some manipulation on data or or it doesn't that depends and it returns react elements describing what should appear on the screen so basically components are javascript functions they accept inputs and they return react elements that's it so that's that's what i learned that what is component in react and basically more about functional component just because they are like functions and all they do is return a react element i also learned about props props are nothing but they are arguments passed to component right so whatever argument I will pass to component it will be available in props so it's like an object and it will be available there in props object and I also learn I also you know I have known the importance of capitalizing custom components because if I don't then it will be treated as built-in DOM elements now here's the difference like like you know I it, it, it came to my mind but as I told you like the Udemy course is awesome the one that I'm doing right now so what so what the thing is like when we declare something like var component equals to an h1 tag hello world h1 tag close right and if I don't capitalize component then react will treat it as a DOM element like already existing DOM elements like div h1 or or a tag and all that that already exists so it will be treated like that but if I capitalize it then it will know that it's a custom element or or a custom component which is made by me and which is not a DOM element so that's that's the basic difference of that's the basic importance of capitalizing custom components and I learned how to pass arguments to components using props and I also learned how to style elements in react so you know in react you know that you have the uh, you have the privilege of writing HTML inside JavaScript because of JSX but that doesn't mean that we can write inside an HTML tag we can give an attribute of style and then we can say like uh, color equals color is to whatever we can't we can't say that that's that's not that's that can't be done and I've learned how to do that it's like enclosing your entire attribute inside two curly braces and uh, all right that's about react now the next thing that I did was I worked on the quiz application as I said that I was stuck in sending multi-line JSON and uh, finally uh, it was not so hard but uh, I figured out how to send that using uh, double, double backward slash n right and uh, I also solved how to show one element at the time using ng repeat like ng repeat it repeats through an element it, it repeats through all the elements of an array and it displays it like I was I was stuck in like showing I want to show it like one at a time like it, it should show one element now and if someone clicks next then it should show the second element but it should not show the first one 
so I was stuck at that and uh, I finally figured out how to do that and it's basically like you know <laughs> it, it was very easy all you all all you have to do is like whatever array you have take the name of that array and and in square brackets you know we can give index number right of that array so in square brackets instead of giving index number make it dynamic and dynamic in the sense like create a make a new variable which will have a value of zero at first and then whenever and then whenever someone clicks next increment the value of that variable right and that and then use that variable inside of that square bracket of of your array name so that's that's the idea that's the idea how to actually achieve that and it worked fine and uh, and now i'm stuck in new thing that i'm stuck in binding ng model to each of the ng repeat elements so we'll figure it out next in my next session all right and uh, the third thing was i work i worked on the game of thrones application it's an angular application again uh, and I added pagina pagination to the houses and characters table. You know, the houses table, it was it was really very much long, lengthy. And characters table was, oh my god, it was, it had like, uh, I think it had like 1,200 uh, 1, 1, something characters. <laughs> so you can imagine like 1,200 uh, lists are being shown in a table and how, how messy it would be, right? So I added pagination to it and then uh, obviously I style it to make it more user friendly and uh, I style the page a bit as well and uh, so that's all I did for today and uh, let's let's do more right all right see you.